it should be noted that the Peugeot 206cc was the first convertible in the compact class with the hard top. In addition to successfully combining the qualities of a convertible and a sports coupe, the 206cc was also offered at a very attractive price. Naturally, in the secondary market, this coupe cabriolet is noticeably more expensive than the usual Peugeot 206 hatchbacks, but it also falls in price more slowly. The thing is peace, for an amateur, which is why it is more difficult to find a buyer for it, but the one who likes such a car, most likely, will not bargain. Only the most powerful 1.6 liter, 109 horsepower, and 2.0 liter, 135 horsepower, gasoline engines in the 206 range were installed on the convertible coupe. In addition to a 5-speed manual gearbox, they were combined with a 4-speed automatic. The Peugeot 206cc has a 2 plus 2 seating formula, which means 2 adults and 2 children. Do I need to explain that with such an arrangement, the rear seats will be comfortable only for elementary school students? However, according to statistics, this car is bought mainly by childless youth, and the rear seats are usually used only for luggage. But the trunk of the coupe cabriolet is noticeably more spacious than that of a regular Peugeot 206 hatchback, 410 liters instead of 250 liters. True, this is with the roof up. And if you fold it, there will be only 150 liters of usable volume. When buying a used Peugeot 206cc, you can absolutely not bother with the equipment of the copy you like. The fact is that the car will already initially be equipped to the fullest extent, at least significantly richer than the usual 206 hatchbacks. For example, already in the basic configuration of the 206cc there are ABS, for airbags, climate control, electric windows and heated mirrors, as well as alloy wheels. This is not bad at all for a compact and budget coupe cabriolet. However, do not forget that the first owner, when buying a car, paid extra for options, the list of which was quite wide. In addition, the process of raising and lowering the hard top is almost completely automated. After the end of the process, you only need to fasten the fastening clips of the top edge and windshield frame. When choosing a convertible, special attention should be paid to one of the main elements of this type of car, the roof. On many 206 SS it leaked. True, in most cases this defect was easily eliminated by replacing the sealing rubber bands of the windshield frame. On the official service, and it's better not to meddle in other places will cost about 5,500 to 6,900 rubles. In addition, it is necessary to check the car for hidden defects that could remain after a poor quality body repair. This is especially important. The fact is that even a slight side impact can lead to a violation of the geometry of the body and damage to the lifting mechanism. Therefore, first of all, check how this node works. Please note that the process of lifting and folding the roof should occur without twitching, shocks, and distortions. Most often, such a malfunction occurs as the failure of the contactors, there are more than 15 of them, the position of the roof's end. Fortunately, this defect is easily eliminated, the limit switches are adjustable, and if they cannot be adjusted, then they change. They cost 350 to 560 rubles. A piece. During a test drive, pay attention to the operation of the automatic transmission. If the gears are switched with jerks and twitches, it is better to refuse the car altogether. The automatic transmission on this model is not very reliable and rarely lasts more than 100,000 kilometers. Therefore, it is better to dwell on the option with the manual gearbox. The front of the 206 SS has McPherson struts, and the rear is independent. On two transverse torsion bars and with a torsional stabilizer bar, consider the same torsion bar. The most running parts in the warehouses of dealers are the stabilizer struts which serve 30,000 to 40,000 kilometers, ball bearings live longer, which change along with the levers. Engine. The 1.6 liter is reliable, but it is demanding on the quality of gasoline and the noise of operation, which is more pronounced in the cold. The 2 liter engine is cramped in the engine compartment of a small car, and getting close to it is problematic, even replacing spark plugs requires a special tool. Ignition coils fly out from motors, from 1500 rubles, and various electronic engine sensors, from 500 to 3,500 rubles. Replacing a failed relay, from 520 to 800 rubles, together with a mounting block and a wiring harness, will cost an average of 2,000 rubles. Gearboxes are reliable with proper operation however, this does not apply to the infamous AL4 machine, which is not very durable. 
the clutch is guaranteed to run 120,000 to 150,000 kilometers. Body. To fold the roof, you need to start the engine, flip the locking handles on the windshield pillars and press the button between the front seats. Just first pull out the horizontal curtain in the luggage compartment wall separating the upper volume required for the folded roof. As long as the blind is not tensioned, the convertible roof hydraulics will not work. In 30 seconds, the 206cc coupe will turn into a convertible. The transformation procedure in the coupe is carried out in the reverse order. When the top is lowered, the body makes squeaks, especially on rough roads and during sharp maneuvering, its insufficient rigidity effects. Electrical Equipment There is one bottleneck in electrical equipment. The motor fan relay is located low and subject to corrosion. Replacing a burned-out relay, along with a mounting block and a wiring harness, will cost an average of 2,500 rubles. Suspension The 206cc suspension is borrowed from the sporty 206 GDI three-door, so the coupe handles the steering wheel well and rolls through corners with minimal roll. The price for a gambling character was a poor ride, especially for versions with 16-inch wheels.